song with a great bass line, and I'm going to show you how to play it. This is The Trooper by Iron Maiden. So some of the counting in this song can get a little confusing. You'll notice in the tabs, the E at the end of spells into the next riff or repetition, because to finish off the riff it's in, there's only an eighth note left in the measure, but you hold that note for a quarter note, so it's really two tied eighth notes in concurrent measures. And so if you count each eighth note in into the next riff, you go one, two, three, four, and then five is that same four just being held another eighth note. And then for the when you're counting that, it's easiest if you count on each eighth note. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, first off we have the intro, oddly enough. And it starts out right with the guitar at the beginning and so it goes like this. It's just sort of this descending rhythm like three times followed by so it goes two frets, exact same fingerings, and then at C at the fifth fret on the first string, instead of going down two frets for that second note, you're only going to go down one to B. And then you have just, which is three notes on the fifth fret, first at the A string, then the D string, then back to A and then up two frets on the A string. So that's D, G, D, E. So one more time the intro goes. time that you play it, instead of playing two E's up here, the first one is going to be that lower E after the, so it just goes, instead of, and that is the intro. So moving into the main riff, from here on out, the whole song is based on this rhythm. It's just an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes. When you put it together, it all goes like And then you're going to intersperse that with that same lick from the intro. So the whole main riff goes. First time first two times it's up on this E and then third time it's down on C and then back to E and 
and that's the main riff. And before the verse comes in, you play that t just twice. So coming out of the main riff into the first verse, you're gonna have to do some resting. So at the end of the main riff, stop right on that, and you're gonna rest. I'm not sure the exact rhythm, but just listen to the song, and then you'll know when it comes in the first time, it goes like, then you rest again. The second time, it's, so instead of going for the last note, it's just three Ds on the A string, and then C. And then the third time, it's the same as the first. And then, to go into the main riff again during the verse, it's the same. And you play the main riff, except for at the end, you don't do one of these. You keep playing the... So, the whole first verse goes like... So for the chorus, after the last time, drop down to the D on the A string at the fifth fret, play that. same lick from the main riff, and that's the chorus.